fried potato chips are a hot item at Court Street Tavern in Winchester, Virginia. They come with the barbecued ribs and many of the other meals. Kitchen manager Chris Bennett buys his fryer oil from Shenandoah Agricultural Products, a small company just a few kilometers away. It's nice to help out, uh, you know, hardworking local people. After the restaurant has fried all it can with the oil, Shenandoah has plans for it. They're going to turn it into biodiesel. Biodiesel is diesel fuel made from plants, not petroleum. Shenandoah runs its farm equipment with it, and Diane Kearns runs the company. Excellent. Humans and everything that goes on are just part of a bit bigger, a bigger picture. And so if we can do things sustainably, environmentally, um, that's really a big, a huge help. Everything has to work economically, too. Farming is on the decline in this area as the suburbs gradually encroach. Kearns says she wants to find a way to keep local agriculture in business while helping the environment. She thinks biofuel crops might help. But she says she is not in it for the money. The reason for doing this is not to make a million dollars. The reason to do this is to empower local ag and prove that you can be sustainable with this kind of stuff. Biodiesel is a growing worldwide industry. But Kearns and her partners are different. They do it all. Kearns grows canola. Her partner, Josh Lidecker, makes it into the fryer oil they sell to local restaurants. It contains canola oil, hard work, and American pride. Then they take the used oil back and turn it into biodiesel fuel in a system Lidecker designed and built himself. I am a backwoods engineer. That being said, I don't have any formal training in engineering. Um, I've just been always intuitive to figuring things out. He even figured out a way to put it all inside the back of a tractor trailer. We wanted to design a system that was truly mobile. And since it's mobile and the chemical process is simple, he says it could work anywhere in the world where farmers have an oilseed crop. Karn says the fuel is economical, too. Their biodiesel costs about the same to make as the regular diesel fuel they buy. So with a little bit of profit margin in there, the cost is coming out pretty darn close which I'm really psyched about. They can even sell their vegetable oil for less than their competitors, which means Chris Bennett is pretty excited too. I mean, I think it's a great idea, especially with, you know, gas costing more than milk now. Uh, it saved us money, saved them money, and it'll uh, help the environment as well. All that, and help local farmers too. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Winchester, Virginia.